Hello and welcome. Today we start with C actions in WinCC V7. It's today only the introduction for this schema, but in next weeks we go through the C actions in WinCC V7 step by step so you can learn uh, with me about the C actions. C actions in WinCC is made with syntax of scripts with language ANSI. ANSI is a standard for C. If you want to read more about C programming language, use this book. It's perfect to use the ANSI C language programming. It's the basic of C language. After this, we go to C++ or something. But this is the core for the C language. In WinCC, we have three editors inside. So we can use the C actions inside the graphic designer to create some objects, properties, the actions inside the events. In global script editor, we can create, for example, the project functions or the global actions. And the third version is the dynamic wizard. There we can create some wizards, but it's the third options and we go through in the future. We can use C actions inside WinCC to make some specific functions. We can use the C actions to implement some operations dialogs for the windows. We can use this to make our application working nicer with this C actions. So we can make the pop-up dialogs with windows implementing. We can make the corresponding to Microsoft Windows with this. After this, we can perform some conversion of data. We can convert some Celsius to Fahrenheit or make the bar and the Pascals or something. Anyway, we can make this all the time and when we want to use this. The next, we can perform some archive operations. So we can write data into our archives and we can read this from the WinCC archiving system. We can make some more implementation. We can make some... We can make the dynamization of visualization objects. So we can make the visible options, the colors or something you want. Inside C actions, we can make this. Also, in C actions, we can use the storing data into files, into Excel, CSV, and read this anytime we want. Inside this course and challenge, uh, we can make some examples in next weeks, so you, you know how to use this. C actions to store data into files. In Graphic Designer, we can put the C actions at the property. So we can see on screen the button, we can see the property display, and we can put the C action inside this. After this, we go to right click. C action and we see the window below and the edit C action we see the editor. This kind of actions need to return any value so if you want to make the property you need to return always something. So if we want to change the display property we need to say display or not display. In C action, we can also make some events. So here we see the event on mouse click for the button. 
Every time we click the button, we can make the actions under the script. So we go again with right click, see action, and we see that our editor is ready to work with us. Last option where we can put some C actions is the global script editor. Inside here we can put some standard functions, project functions and internal functions. Let's go from standard functions. This functions is available across the project. So anytime you create one standard function, you can used in all projects you have on your computer. You can make this central in one place you create one standard functions and if you want to change this function you make this in central editor and all functions you used in your project will be replaced. You can use this any in any place you want. So you can use this global script uh, functions inside the graphic designer and the events. So you can create some specific scripts for you. If you don't use the functions and see actions inside your scripts, inside your pictures, you can reduce the picture values. So the volume of your picture can be minimized. It's good options if you have the big pictures and you need to reduce some volume. Last perfect option for this kind of functions is the password protection. Anytime you create something special, you don't want to share with someone, you can make the password protection inside the script. So. You put the password and if someone wants to edit or view the script, he needs to perform the password because without the password you can't open. You can use this script with password protection, but you can't open this. The same is the project functions, but project functions it's only available only in one project, only in this project where you created this. If you want to have this in all projects, you need to copy and paste to another project. Any other options is the same like in the standard functions. The last option, the internal functions. Here we have the standard NCC library. User cannot change these functions and we cannot create new internal functions. It's standard NCC library and we can use this inside our application. Here we have the global script and the C editor 3. After we open this we see the project function, the standard functions, and internal functions, and the actions. During these weeks, we will go to all these functions, we will use this. After this, you can make your project functions by your hand. Okay, but why we need the C actions when we know and use the Visual Basic scripts. Because C actions can help us to make the better performance inside the VCC and in C actions we have the some possibilities that we don't use in Visual Basic script. I will show you now two possibilities about the perf performance. After this, during these weeks, we will go and we can compare the C actions option and Visual Basic Script actions. How to play with this? Okay. First example is reading performance 
for 1000 internal tags. As you see, Visual Basic script is reading this 1000 internal tags with almost one second. And C script is reading the same internal tags with half second. It's twice better inside this kind of reading. But the second example, how to set the color for 1000 rectangles on our screen. So we have 1000 rectangles on screen and we use the script to modify the color. So Visual Basic Script is making this with 200 milliseconds and C script is doing this with 2000 milliseconds. So we see the difference. So in some of cases we use the C actions to make the performance better and in some options we need to use the Visual Basic Script. If you have any questions about this topic, about this introduction and uh, for example you want to say me uh, it was good or not good, just give me the comment so I know how to prepare the next lessons, next videos and we can make the good challenge about the NCC introduction and course inside here. If you want to read more you go you can go to Siemens.com. Uh, I prefer to use the C programming language from Brian Kernigan. It's the perfect book to read more about the C and C C programming language. I invite you also to myscadaword.com where you can sign into my newsletter where I put some kind of information, some kind of PDFs and uh, presentations like this. So if you want this, leave me email, I will send you this. Thank you. See you next week in C actions. On Friday we go with next example in WinCC V7 with Visual Basic Script. See you!